Well, what do you know? Another unboxing. Uh, I just decided to make this into a bit of a bigger unboxing than I was, in, you know, gonna, than I was going to intend. I mean, initially, um, this doesn't really matter. But first, I was just gonna unbox this big one here from CDARM.com, and I was also gonna include some uh, titles, you know, which I usually just include in a normal DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, and then I was gonna save these for like for next week or so because I didn't think that I would receive th this many already. But since I did, I decided to make this into just a strict unboxing video instead, or you know. Uh, and I'll do that other video next week probably because I think that I will receive some more stuff next week. Um, so yeah, I've got you know a bunch of stuff here. A reasonably sized unboxing. So uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I can't say, I mean I know, okay, so I know which, which these are, but I'm not quite sure what, what these are. So it should be fun to see. I'll most likely end up watching some of, the, some of this over the weekend. And actually, since I still go to school, yes, I'm an adult, but I go to school, I, um, I have um, spring, I mean spring, I have Easter break next week. So, I have a bunch of spare time to watch movies. Anyway, this one is um, Man with a Movie Camera. It says Michael Newmans, but that's not the director. That's the guy who wrote the music for this, I think. The director is Zika Vertov. And let I don't know where this movie is from. Um, it's from 1929, anyway. And uh, basically, it's... Uh, it's this guy, Ziga Vertov. I guess that's uh, uh, the guy who um, it's, doesn't really have a narrative. I don't think it's just it's since it's such an early movie. It's uh, that's the reason why it's so impressive. I heard. I mean, um, he uses a very a bunch of innovative in innovative techniques to shoot um, uh, just his city with where he lives. I guess or you know where he is uh, and uh, just documents life in a very creative way, uh, you know, with his camera. Um, and, uh, yeah, some, some, you know, tricks which are fairly ahead of their time, I've, I've heard. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know, in, don't, I don't really know more than that, but I, I've wanted to watch this one for a long time, so I'm very glad to finally be able to do that. And we'll take this one right away. Oh, this one I'm looking forward to. This is Hema. Actually, it says a film by Sig Ross. So I don't know if they're credited as the director, even, or who is credited as a director, but you can read here. In 2006, having toured the world over, Sig Ross returned home uh, to play a series of free unannounced concerts in Iceland. Hema is a unique record of that tour, filmed in 16 locations across the island, Iceland, yeah, taking in the biggest and smallest shows of the band's career. This is supposed to be phenomenally beautiful, you know, visually and musically, and uh, I am thinking that their music will probably go very well, you know, along with the landscapes of Iceland. And this is a movie which, because it's an Icelandic band, if I didn't mention, but um, you probably understood from the description here, but I do not think that this is released on Blu-ray, which is kind of unfortunate, because this seems like a very visual film, uh, so a Blu-ray would maybe do it good, you know, but I, I don't know, um, I'm sure that this uh, will be just fine, but uh, yeah, I've heard really good things about this, and uh, so you have disc 1, the main feature, and on disc 2, almost two hours of full-length live performances and then some other extras too like tour diary I love watching that stuff so um, yeah Hema then this one I'm pretty sure I know where it is I think I talked about it in my last unboxing video I said that this was the one that I was waiting for and indeed it is beyond the math however much different cover than I was expecting, and let's see, hopefully the disc is fine, because it, it was loose. It is a used copy, so the disc is not in perfect condition, but 
it usually doesn't. It, it usually is fine. Um, you got. I mean, you you do take a certain risk when you buy from from sober stocks from Amazon because all other stuff is you know very good in a very good condition. But when you get some of them, they're not in a very good condition. But they write that for all other titles. Um, but um, yeah, this is a documentary on wrestling, and I do not care for wrestling. I've never. Well, I shouldn't say never. When I was you know, 10 or whatever, I guess I thought it was kind of cool, but then I haven't really been that interested in it anymore, but uh, like I've heard other people say, and this is very true, a documentary, you don't have to be interested in the subject presented for for to be able to enjoy a certain documentary. If it's done well, then it doesn't really matter what the subject is, you know, you can enjoy it anyway. And uh, since I've heard that this is so good, I'm sure that I will be able to enjoy it. And uh, there we have The Rock, before he, you know, his film career launched. Or, you know, what I'm trying to say. This one I'm looking forward to. I mean, I'm looking forward to all of them, or I wouldn't have ordered them, but, you know. I'm pretty sure it has to be this. Yeah. Uh, and, by the way, this one is from Amazon. Those three were from Amazon Marketplace, I believe. I, yeah, I think all three were. Um, this one is from Amazon, but this will, this is likely to be the last purchase from Amazon, and I will explain why shortly. Anyway, this is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog 3D Steelbook. Let's see, I have uh, the other one. The first one, the same kind of, same type of edition, but this one is much slimmer. I'm going to open it right away, because I... Most likely we'll start this tonight. Oh, come on. Uh, because I loved the special features on the Hobbit one. Don't want to damage it here. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, well, it's a steel book, so I guess it's... Anyway. Um, yeah, so I love the, the, the special features on the first Hobbit film, the, on this edition. And uh, I'm look I've been looking forward to watching more. So I hope that they're as extensive and in-depth as the first here. Just thought that I'd take a look at how many discs there are, because I'm not sure if there are four or maybe five. Maybe I can... These are actually... This is interesting. These are stickers that they put on. Usually they're sort of in the artwork, but... I don't want to damage anything. Not even this little sleeve thing here or whatever. But, okay. Uh, four discs. So, part one and part two in 3D. And then, um, actually you have all special features on one disc. I'm not sure how it was with the first one. But like you can see here, it says nine hours of special features. Which is, is com you know, completely true. Uh, not an exaggeration. <laughs> I mean, they don't include, you know commentaries or stuff in that uh, but uh, I'm not sure if it is quite as much here I mean you can see here production videos go behind the scenes as the film is shot and scored and then New Zealand home of Middle Earth part 2 so I'm guessing that the part, part 2 maybe is the big feature really should say how many hours it is I mean how many hours the special features are but I can't find it, and I don't want to waste too much of your time. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I was going to mention why I haven't, why why it's likely to be the last order from Amazon. Well, uh, be when I before I I, I pre-ordered this a while back, and after that, I found out that Sweden, where I live, among other countries, uh, are going to be uh, not f uh, free shipping are not going to be available to these countries. To these countries anymore, again Sweden being one of them, and uh, so it's going to be like at least five six pounds shipping every time. Before, if you ordered above twenty pounds, it was free shipping even here. Now it's not anymore, and I don't know why, but uh, I guess something to do with them not making enough profit or something. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, so that I guess that means that I will most likely order from marketplace because the shipping is much cheaper than six pounds there. 
unless they jack that up too but I hope not um, but um, yeah so that's too bad because I've been a very loyal Amazon customer you know when I stop buying they'll realize you know shit we're losing money <laughs> you know, better start with the free shipping again no but um, that's, that's too bad because Amazon has been a great source of you know, fairly good price, but mainly just a very good selection of, of movies and TV shows, and I've enjoyed ordering from there through the years. So it's an end of an era, but I can order from other places. I feel like uh, maybe there's something else. Not now you can not now you can see the first title. So, uh, but I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention about the Hobbit, but um, maybe not. But I look forward to it. I should say that I'm only I only intend to watch the special spe <laughs> the special features now. And then, right before the third one uh, premieres in, in theaters, I intend to watch both the first one and second one, sort of back to back, right before the, the third one, so that I'm sort of up to to date, or not up to date, but I have a more a fresher idea of what hap what happened in the first two, if you know what I mean. Uh, because I've only seen them once each when they were in theater. Anyway, these four I got for a really good price. First up, Walking Dead. Second season on Blu-ray. Just finished the first one and I enjoyed it a lot. And I'll show the other three right away. I did not intend to get this. I just I'll, I'll explain soon uh, briefly. Uh, we have ER season two, three, and four. And I'm currently watching season one of ER. It's down there and I have season 5 and 6 up there which I recently ordered and unboxed in that last unboxing video I mentioned. Um, those three seasons, the first, fifth and sixth, they were all 10 crowns from this very cheap Swedish DVD and music website. Uh, and I bought the first one, uh, first, <laughs> only the first one, because I, di I didn't know if I was going to like it. But I did, uh, so I picked up five and six too because they they were also so cheap. Ten crowns is like a dollar fifty U.S. So um, I just thought that well, whenever I get season two, three, and four and watch those, I have season five and six ready to watch. Uh, and now I also I, I found these for a really cheap price on CD on. I just I first searched for them on Amazon, and I realized that they're pretty pricey there unless you get them you know used copies. And then I just decided to look, to look on CD on, and they were much cheaper there. This one was 29, this one was I believe 49, and this one was 29. And this was 139, so altogether it came out to 246 because there's no shipping for me, because I am a CD on Plus member. So that means that I will not have I will not have to pay 29 crowns shipping if I order for 100 crowns. <laughs> Normally it's like 600. You don't. You have to order for it to get free shipping. But I also had a free, I mean a discount code for 100 crowns, which you know took off another hundred. So I only paid 100 and 146 crowns for all for all of this, and that's maybe 22 US dollars, maybe something like that. Um, I think that's a really good good price for all of this. All this, all this TV goodness. Uh, I mean, 16 hours, 16 hours, 16 hours, and basically 10 hours. Uh, I mean, that's how much is that? 58 hours, maybe. Uh, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's that's all for this time. A whole bunch of stuff that I'm looking forward to watching. <laughs> Uh, yeah, really happy about all of these, but actually especially of this. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all. So uh, yeah, don't have anything more to say. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video.